NATO may respond to North Korea sending troops to Russia in several ways, one of which is increasing support for Ukraine, according to Bloomberg. According to the report, South Korean intelligence has found that North Korea will soon send a second batch of soldiers to Russia. A document with this information was sent to Seoul's allies. The document also states that the first group of 1,500 elite North Korean special forces is currently training in Russia's Far East. They arrived there between October the 8th and 13th by ship. In total, North Korea plans to send around 10,000 troops to Russia. According to South Korea's intelligence, since August last year, Pyongyang has sent approximately 8 million North Korean-made 122mm and 152mm artillery shells to Russian forces, along with 100 Hwasong-11 missiles and Bulse-4 anti-tank we anti weapons. Recently, the Russian army has been using North Korean-made shells against Ukrainian soldiers more frequently than Russian ones. The enemy is also utilizing shells supplied by Iran, Bloomberg reports. The news agency reviewed the contents of South Korean intelligence documents. These documents include data from Ukrainian intelligence regarding Russia's use of artillery shells. The documents state that recently only 30% of the artillery shells used by Russia in attacks were of Russian manufacture. Of the remaining 60%, North Korea supplied the majority, while Iran provided the remaining 10%. Thus, it can be concluded that Russia is using twice as many North Korean-made shells as its own. Two Bloomberg sources said that Seoul plans to present part of its intelligence to NATO officials. The sources added that NATO's potential response in Pyongyang's actions is limited. It may include boosting support for Ukraine and strengthening cooperation with countries in the Indo-Pacific region. The South Korean report, according to Bloomberg, also notes that North Korean troops will be deployed to fight in Ukraine after completing a month-long training in Russia's Far East. The Kremlin plans to provide them with weapons, uniforms and falsified IDs to disguise them as residents of Russia's eastern regions. South Korean intelligence believes that the North Korea is ready to send a new batch of military personnel to the combat zone in Ukraine to support Russia. The president of Belarus, Alexander Lukashenko, in an interview with Russia's media Izvesha, has threatened war if Russia attempts to annex Belarus. You are smaller, we are larger, and we have this or that kind of economy. We will help you. And then joining Russia. This approach is unacceptable. It's impossible and unfeasible. I'm even afraid to say it, but that would mean war, he said. According to him, he doesn't understand why Belarus would need to be annexed by Russia as the two countries already cooperate within the Union state framework. We can build relations that are closer and stronger than in a unitary state, and no one will have any grievances, Lukashenko added. He called the idea of Belarus joining Russia a foolish task. This is not the Middle Ages, where you seize a territory, collect taxes, and all is well. The world has changed. It's different now. So, there's no need to set such foolish tasks, and one must always think about what comes next," Lukashenko clarified. Recall Vladimir Putin has compared himself to empire-building 18th-century Russian Tsar Peter the Great and has attempted to annex entire regions of Ukraine while declaring that he is returning historically Russian lands. A leaked document last year reportedly detailing Russian plans to absorb neighboring Belarus now provides further insight into the imperial ambitions that are also driving the invasion of Ukraine. It serves as a comprehensive guide to the unofficial annexation of Belarus via a combination of economic, military, political and social measures with the objective of full absorption into a so-called Union State with Russia by 2030. The Russian takeover of Belarus as outlined in the document appears to closely mirror Moscow's plans for Ukraine, albeit by less direct means. Russia's goals with regard to Belarus are the same as with Ukraine, only in Belarus Russia relies on coercion rather than war. Its end goal 
is still wholesale incorporation, commented Michael Carpenter, the U.S. ambassador to the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe, following publication of the leaked document. The strategy document for Belarus envisions the comprehensive Russification of Belarusian society, along with a sharp reduction in the influence of nationalist and pro-Western forces, which are viewed by Russia as virtually indistinguishable in relation to both Belarus and Ukraine. The Belarusian political, financial, business and education systems would be fully integrated into Russia with a network of pro-Russian media, NGOs and cultural institutions established to aid this integration process. In the military sphere, the Belarusian army would become de facto part of the Russian military, with Belarus increasing the number of Russian bases in the country and allowing Moscow to dramatically expand its military presence. Чего? Припарывай. И фига где на трещина. 